everybody, welcome back. Last week we told you about our favorite travel movies. So this week we thought we'd go into the best road trip movies because as you know, we love road trips. Hey, if you have some ideas for top 10s we can do about travel, make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below to let us know what we should talk about. So let's get started. Everybody loves the comedy stylings of Zach Galifianakis. Even his name sounds funny. And his performance in Due Date with Robert Downey Jr. is absolutely hilarious. Robert Downey Jr. has to get home for the birth of his baby and he runs into Zach Galifianakis who is this failing actor. And you know, really, the highlight of the whole movie is just seeing Zach Galifianakis stick his stomach in Robert Downey Jr.'s face. That for sure is worth watching the movie. I thought Jamie Foxx was worth watching the movie. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Teacher's own. It's a little cameo in it, it's cool. <laughs> one of the first movies I ever saw was Smokey and the Bandit. And I think that's a great one with Burt Reynolds, who was so cool. Burt Reynolds and Sally Field and a Trans Am in the 70s, driving cross country as Smokey was hot on their trail because they were trying to deliver um, beer. It was, it was beer. It was after my it own was Coors, wasn't A big it? truckload of beer <laughs> illegally across the country as fast as they could. They had something like 48 hours to make it happen. And Smokey, who was Jackie Gleason, was hot on their trail. It's pretty funny. And for all those people out there who love to travel in an RV, then you should definitely check out We're the Millers. This with Jason Sudeikis and Jennifer Aniston where Sudeikis plays this small time pot dealer and he convinces these people to come with him and pose as his family while he's trying to smuggle pot from Mexico. Jennifer Aniston plays a stripper and yeah. there's just like all kinds of weird things that happen in this movie. I didn't expect to like this movie but I thought it was a hoot. I thought it, it was, was really funny. Yeah, so I had, if you want a good laugh, get We're the Millers. And Jennifer Aniston did a good job playing comedy. Yeah, for sure. I think she's great yeah. at comedy. Well, she was in Friends. Of course yeah, she's great at comedy. <laughs> I suppose so. Now I saw this movie at the theater. Ooh, so it was crazy. I did not know what to, <laughs> I did not know what to expect with Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. And it was really wild. It really was introduced me to Australia because way back in the 90s I hadn't been to Australia yet. I didn't travel yet. So I saw these drag queens going cross country across the outback with these sweeping costumes and it was incredible landscape and because I had a theater background I just loved the movie so much and it's a young Hugo, Re Hugo Weaving from Lord of the Rings we all know yeah. him, uh, Guy Pierce, and Terrence Stamp. You like these suggestions so far? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. One of my favorite road trip movies and it is a must see even if you don't like road trip movies is Vacation. You got the Griswolds with their family, it's Chevy Chase, they're heading to Wally World and there's all kinds of crazy things that happen in between getting from their hometown all the way to Wally World. It's from, you know, I think their grandmother dies, the, uh, dog, dies. the dog dies, they race Christy Brinkley in a <laughs> Ferrari. Come on, you gotta watch the movie just for that, right? It's a good road trip one for it sure, does. it makes you wanna drive. A movie I just re-watched recently was Little Miss Sunshine, and it's Ooh, such like a fun one. movie. Yeah. yeah, it's actually very bittersweet and sad, and there's a lot of levels to it, and that's what I like a lot. It's, you know, it's Steve Carell when he's in a dramatic role, when he's at his finest. We all love Greg Kinnear and Tony Collette, and they're going across country to have their daughter perform in a Little Miss Sunshine beauty pageant, and it's worth sticking around till the end. They go through a lot of hijinks as well. A grandparent dies in that one as well. Yeah. Hmm. Is there a theme? There's a theme with road trip movies. <laughs> now I like the older movies, so I'm gonna go with Cannonball Run. It's a classic. You got Dom DeLuise, you got uh, Burt Reynolds, you also have um, Sam Sammy Davis Jr. There's, t there's all types of characters in this, and they're doing a race all the way across America. It's absolutely fantastic. They get up to all kinds of hijinks in that one. I really love One Week with Joshua Jackson. It's a road trip movie across Canada on a motorcycle. What would you do if you only had one week left to live? Well, Joshua Jackson takes a road trip and discovers all of the great monuments across Canada from Toronto to British Columbia. If you're looking for a road trip movie that will really make you laugh, check out Tommy Boy. It's with two guys that I absolutely love. It's with uh, Chris Farley, who unfortunately is not with us anymore, and David Spade. They were a good pair. They were, they were a really good pair. They played off each other well. Uh, it's where um, 
Tommy Boy, who is Chris Farley, his father passes away and he's trying to save his, uh, his business there. And uh, his mom is Bo Derek. They go on this crazy road trip. He is a sales agent and he pairs up with David uh, Spade. David Spade is straight laced in he, it yeah. and Chris Farley is the buffoon and it's really funny. It's classic. Anthony Hopkins is one of my all-time favorite actors and I think The World's Fastest Indian is one of uh, his yes. best performances. Yeah, and if you like motorcycles, it's awesome. Yeah, it's so understated. He plays a Kiwi uh, from New Zealand, obviously, mm -hmm. and he wants to take uh, his motorcycle to the United States to test it out on the speedway on the salt flats. And he overcomes all the obstacles and money. And it's really heartwarming. It's showing that you're never too old to have a dream. It's showing that you never give up and you can make things happen. And it's just one of my favorite movies. Whenever I just want a good smile with a little happy cry, <laughs> I watch that movie. And let's not forget Thelma and Louise. Classic. Yeah, in the 90s, Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon were the queens of, <laughs> you know, everything. They were winning Academy Awards. They had all the top box office, and this was the pinnacle. Brad Pitt is in it. They go across the country, across the United States, and it really shows off great beauty of the desert of the United States, of the landscape. It's also got a lot going on. It's not just for fun though during this road trip, they are running. But it's really uh, great acting, great uh, visuals, and an excellent story that stands the test of time. Well, nothing says road trip like the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with John Candy and Steve Martin. This is, like it says, they're on planes, trains, and automobiles going across country, uh, and Steve Martin has to get back to his family for Christmas, and he hooks up and can't really get rid of John Candy. He tries his hardest to get home in all different methods, but he always ends up traveling with John Candy. So you can imagine what it's like pairing those two guys together. Classic road trip movie. This is one that's on everybody's top travel movie, let alone road trip movies, and that's The Motorcycle Diaries. Sure. It's a young Gail Garcia mm -hmm. who plays Ch Che Guevara before he became Che. And this is where a very innocent movie about him just going cross country across uh, well, cross continent, across South America. And this one really resonated with me because I think that it is travel that makes you, sparks you to do something, Definitely. you know, sparks you to in his case, maybe was the start of his revolution. You know, so I think it's really great. It, it just showcases the landscape and the people and the cultures of South America. And if you want a good road trip that'll take you on some travel journey on places you've never been, this is the place to go. So that'll do it. That wraps up our favorite road trip movies. Now let us know if you have any suggestions in the comments. If you agree with us, if you disagree with us, just let us know. And if you like what you see here, make sure to subscribe to our channel for new videos every week. See you next week where we're going to give you some travel tips and advice. See you next week.